Tuesday. Hello and welcome everyone, Tyrrell here and it's time for another War with Friends. So right now I'm with Doramus Dynasty and we're going to start with the most heroic attack just like we always do. And the most heroic attack goes to Butt. Butt attacked Don Camillo and he's using Giants and Wizards. Now this is something you've never seen on my channel. You've never seen Giant and Wizards. You've seen Jai Wee Wee and Jai Wipe during my crazy raids but... Never actually anyone at all using giants and wizards as an attack strategy. I remember this old YouTuber. I don't know what happened to him. But he was actually pretty popular back in the day. And he used giants and wizards to push. I don't remember what his name is. But if anyone can remember someone who did that, please post it below in the comments. Because I cannot for the life of me remember who it was. So he's already got his giants in, and his heal spell is down. He's still got one heal spell left. Oh, Traps took a lot of his giants, and that king is just not playing nice. And now it's just being a king and going off in the random directions and doing nothing. But that's what kings are for. At least, that's what they're for in Clash of Clans. So his king is going around the town hall. But luckily, this guy's got all his air defenses in the center. So when those wizards are going for the center, nothing's hitting them. King's off on the side. He's going to get stuck on that gold storage. That really shows the difference between a level 40 and a level 5 king. Because a level 40 king would like one shot that. Okay, maybe two shot it. But that is a huge difference in strength. And his wizards are staying alive. They're staying alive. All because of that heal spell, and they take out the Town Hall. So Town Hall 8 on Town Hall 8 action, and it's 2 star. So Butt is able to get 70% and a 2 star. So that was the most heroic attack. Let's go to the most heroic defense. Most heroic defense goes to SpongeBob. SpongeBob was attacked by Wawa3891. And he's using Go Wipe. One Golem. Now I gotta keep in mind... Okay, this is a Town Hall 9. He's got four spells. He's got too many Wizards. That's the one thing. Go Wipe does not use a lot of Wizards. It uses somewhere between 10 and maybe 16 Wizards. Which is noticeably less than Go Wee Wee. But he's got just way too many wizards. That golem's not going to last long enough. Even against the Town Hall 8, that golem is not going to last long enough. And he's going off to the side. The king beats it down. Oh, all those wizards with a giant bomb. That was just some bad luck. Oh, and that mess of wizards going down to the bottom. With that rage spell there. No, man, you need more tanks. You need a little bit more wall breakers. You only got through one layer and a little bit to another compartment, but that's it. You need to be able to break in at least to the second layer, and you need at least two golems. Yeah, just way too many wizards. 29 wizards is just beyond too much. So this guy's going to end with 39% on a Town Hall 8 as a Town Hall 9. That's unfortunate. And now... The person who was just attacking, Wawa3891, is being attacked by Dylan. Dylan's using Lava Lunions. He's using Lava Lunions on a Town Hall 9. And uh, volume check. One second. I, I had to check because my volume sounded a little bit loud. And he's drawing out the Clan Castle with a minion. That's just good for him. Now, honestly, I always bring a lightning. I always say I always bring a lightning. And personally, I would not have risked deploying the clan castle right in front of a wizard. But it worked out for him because they were distracted by the minion. But just a word of warning, people. Just a word of warning. Do not place big groups of stuff in front of splash damage troops like dragons and wizards. Just, it's a bad idea. I mean, it worked, but it's a bad idea. So, let's see. His Lava Hounds are down. They were level 1. Pups. There's still a few pups flying around. And his balloons are just massacring this base. 
Unfortunately, this guy has low-level air defense and low-level wizard towers. So, yeah, there's not much to do about those balloons. They're just mowing that down. And the air defense is almost low enough that the heal works against it. It barely was able to out-damage that heal. And, of course, you can see my favorite little traps going right there. Those little flying air skeletons with little balloons strapped around their waist. That's so friggin' awesome. I love it. And at this point, he just has to clean that up. And I really like this. He's spreading out his heroes. I really like that. Because now that there's no defenses up, he needs to clear this base as fast as he can so he beats the timer. So at this point, he doesn't need his king to protect his queen. A lot of people deploy their king and queen together always. If you don't need your king to protect your queen, you just need percentage. Split them up. Just split them up, guys. And now he's just got to race his air troops across. If it was ground troops, he might not have made it. I don't know how long the timer was. So now it's time for my attack. I'm attacking Zan, their number one player. I'm going straight in with those. Oh, crap. Okay. That lure didn't work too well. Let's do what we can. Now, since I didn't want to put the weight of donating me witches on command, I went ahead and cooked the witches myself and got a clan castle of wizards instead. All works fine. And then it's just my usual attack. It's my go-up attack. I kind of want to switch to a slightly different attack just to mix it up. But, I mean, come on. I know it works. And that's a uh, nasty little dragon in his clan castle. I'm going to go ahead and rage, and that was an absolutely terrible rage. It got, like, nothing in it. Now it has stuff in it, but it didn't before. I was trying to use it to take out that dragon right there, and my king's going off nowhere. And my wall breakers are all dead because of these multi-target infernos, of course. And my queen's off to the side. Wonderful. I'm going to, like, fail on a underdeveloped Town Hall 10. But I do have one P.E.K.K.A. Go, P.E.K.K.A. Go, P.E.K.K.A. Go. Go, go, P.E.K.K.A. Rangers. What? Sorry. And P.E.K.K.A. took it out and jumped out of the core and is dead. Just that double Tesla now. Even though they're lower level Tesla, two Tesla plus one P.E.K.K.A. equals two Tesla. And f I like that freeze. I, I personally am proud of that freeze. That freeze froze a king and a bunch of defenses. Okay, it's not my best freeze ever, but it's a good freeze. Don't question my freeze. And I have no use for this lightning spell. May as well save it. I am not getting a 3-star on this. Let's go ahead and pick up some percentage. Where can I drop my archers? Archers. Uh, my archer queen's going to take care of this stuff on the bottom, so I'll take out that. And drop that on there. Come on, get it before the expo gets you. Got it. I have no idea why I care about the percentage, but I'm just going to let it play out. I mean, heroes were reduced in time, so I can just let my Archer Queen die right now. And my Archer Queen is dead. Let's see. Come on. A little more percentage. Come on. And we're done. Yep, nothing left to do, so I may as well end it here. 88%, not bad. I almost got to that 90% threshold. So, next I'm going to be going in on their number two base. Same exact army composition as the last attack. I'm going to go ahead and attack Mad Prince with my Hog Rider starting up there. Okay, I'm not sure why he had a skeleton trap all the way out there. And it looks like this clan really favors dragons in their clan castle. They're really favoring those dragons. And you don't, 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 don't do not put these dragons damn buildings in the corners if you're trying to design a good base do not put buildings in the corners unless it's your town hall on a farming base you're just giving them one free percentage and that is what i call a lure point they can just drop a troop there one troop and lure your entire clan castle with no trouble at all so do not ever ever have buildings in the corner unless it's a town hall for a free snipe so I gotta break open these compartments. Luckily, it's, you know, level 6 walls and 7 walls. Well, 7 walls take 2 wall breakers still, but level 6 walls don't. 
And we're at a good point, I think. I'm kind of worried about that camp up there pulling my troops, but I think I got this. It looks like everything's... Oh, failed jump. That was a failed jump on my part. It is not even letting me in there, so I'm going to use that queen. Well, I did use that queen. It's already over before I could even say anything. I used the queen to pull myself in and rage through the wall. And froze four defenses at once, including both Inferno Towers. Move those Inferno Towers apart, Mad Prince. You gotta move them apart. And at this point, I'm just breaking out. And let's see, I got two pick up top, but they're almost dead. Spring Trap does nothing. Oh, I still have my troops on the outside? Seriously? They live that long? Gotta pick off what percentage I can get. Hopefully, I can get a three star. It's looking like I can because my heroes are f pretty much full health and they have both their abilities. And there's only two Tesla and a cannon. This is looking good. Now, whoa! I'm glad that bomb was not fully upgraded or else it would have taken out my wizards. I mean, it would have done nothing, but it still would have taken out my wizards. So at this point, it's kind of clear that I got the three star right here. So. That's a pretty good attack on my part. Although he does have level 5 walls, I'm still happy with a 3-star. We've been doing pretty well this war. A slight lead, so I'm pretty hopeful for this war. So we gotta see how it turns out. Ooh, tweet. And we lost by one point, just one point. These guys were a little bit behind us. They pulled it at the last second, in the last hour or less. They got ahead. It was 46 to 45. They won 46 to 47. But it was a good war, and I had fun. Now, if you want to participate and join in the fun, just go ahead and post for next week down in the comments below. Remember to include your clan name at least. I need to know where to find you. So, if you want me to come to your clan next week, post your clan name down in the comments below. This has been Wars with Friends. I'm Tyrael, and thank you for watching.